Boegenum is a village in the Dutch province of Limburg. It was a part of the municipality of Hellen until 2007, when it merged into the municipality of Ludel. It lies about 5 kilometers north of Roermond, Netherland. Jan Thielen Jan Thielen is one of the European masters at the art and craft of long distance and marathon pigeon racing. In fact, he is known worldwide for his breeding and racing capabilities. Some have compared him with Europe's best, including the great Jan Arden. Jan Thielen comes from Bugenum and has formed a strain of world class racing pigeons comparable with the originals from Jan Arden and Jeff Van Ranroy. Through astute in breeding and crossing Thielen bred pigeons who are now for decades worthy participants in the international pigeon scene. Champions such as the legendary Lynx, Donkey Hermans, Goat Road 834, Trudge, the Kuiper Brothers 52, the Gauden Kuljerk 494, the famous 08, the Lisbeth, the famous 10, the Vale Marathon, the Road Diamange, the Road Lady Barcelona, thoroughbreds who have been successful for their creator but also for many other greats of the pigeon scene such as Hagen's brothers, Herman Brinkman, Leliu van Dorn, Brouwers Kodama, Ludo Verstret, Kuiper's brothers, Van den Ein Bernhards, Martin Henson, Cees van den Pol, and so on. The Thielen strain is considered by the above flyers to be of a rare quality. So much so that Jan Thielen won the International Barcelona race in 1993 with the great Ricky, against the greatest convoy ever over 33,000 birds. Dark Days In December 1990, Jan Thielen retires. Since none of the children is interested in having a cafe, the business is left to third parties and so the pigeons have to go too. Then suddenly a bold decision, Jan Thielen must have thought and when deciding to sell completely. On December 1st and 2nd, two difficult or black days will follow in January Thielen's milking career. It is really hard for him to walk through the completely deserted lofts in the evening on December 2nd. After the auction he walks around aimlessly for a few days. He feels that he has lost a part of himself. He misses the pigeons, that much is clear. Now I have nothing left he sighs a hundred times. The sale itself, 230 units, takes place thanks to the good care of de Duif and is an unexpected financial success. If I may be honest, Jan Thielen tells us so many years after the facts, the pigeons yielded almost three times as much as I expected. More than four and a half tons. Or about 200,000 euros converted into the current currency. And that in 1990. I really didn't know that my pigeons were so sought after. And to say that I gave away so many of my life or sold them for a penny. Perhaps that was the explanation for the success. Jan has made so many people happy with good pigeons that he has an innumerable number of friends and supporters worldwide. Then a total sale always succeeds. At the total sale in 1990, Jan Thielen was not entirely sure whether he would ever race with pigeons again. If you really sell completely, it's a lot of starting over anyway, even if your name is Jan Thielen. Return in Pigeon Sport At the new address, he immediately flew in in 1992, he won the 8th National Marseille. Jan Thielen is back and the old kind still works. That much is clear. The Marseille winner, later called the Marseille, had made it through the evening together with 21 other compatriots, good for an 8th place against 5,919 national. The next morning Thielen is again early and wins the 34th national with a loft mate. De Marseille wins first Bergerac in Semenspel in 1993, good for a 37th provincial Bergerac against almost 10,000 pigeons and then lags behind Marseille, fortunately for Thielen. A passerby finds the animal badly injured in a dustbin somewhere near Versailles. The good Samaritan takes care of the animal and so the half-dead crack gets back to Thielen and then you sometimes wonder where your good pigeon has gone. Which long-distance player has never cherished the boyhood dream of one day being on the very highest scaffold in the international race from Barcelona? In 1993 that dream came true for Jan Thielen from Dugenim. He still hasn't quite recovered when he tells it. On July 3, 1993, 33,196 pigeons are released in Barcelona. It is a tough and heroic Barcelona that will be open until Thursday. On Sunday, 
Thielen clocked at 9.03 a.m. for 1,132 kilometers. His pigeon is therefore one hour ahead of the pigeon of Heron van Stiffhout from Van Ray. The third international is for Emil Kabergs from Grazen, national winner Belgium. Thielen takes 7 out of 10. His pigeons had blood form. Yep. Nevertheless, he has to share the international interest in a piece with the late Hub Peters from Oler Gratham, who then set a giant series and won 7, 20, 53 and 56 nationally with his inbred catrices from Jan Schroyers. Also the brother Brugman put themselves in the spotlight on this killer Barcelona with 5th and 45th national with Orhan and Myra respectively. Ricky. The winner of Thielen with ring NL1164925-90 was a gift from friend Harry Bax from Arhees and carried about 70% Kuiper's blood with a Thielen. Her father was the 2501991-87 and almost pure Kuiper's and the mother 1773643-85 was a daughter of the basic pair of Wimbax, from Boodle. This couple consisted of a direct cock from Kuiper's cross a hen from the line of the Lynx, Van Thielen cross Arden. Jan gave them to her third litter on a nine-day-old youngster that he had locked up alone in the half-box for an hour before basketing, so that the young mother could not reach it. Did that motivate her even more? The fact is that she ignored all competitors for a full hour and won Barcelona in a grandiose way. Ricky she was baptized after the youngest grandson Rick. It was a proud black and white eyed. Unfortunately, she did not stay in Dugenim. Such an impressive amount was offered to Jan Thielen, like so many before and after him, gave in and did not dare to run the risk that something would go wrong with that precious pigeon. Ricky moved to the million dollar combination of Luxion and Chuang Dang Fu in Moore's lead. Fortunately for Jan, he was able to get some of it back afterwards through Mark Van Riviere with whom he often exchanged pigeons. At Wheel Browers, Jan was lucky enough later to be able to retrieve his own son of Ricky for free. He was already very worn out, but he still managed to give birth to five young in Bugenim. But every little bit helps and that's why you will find quite a bit of Ricky blood in the Jan Thielen loft today. After the stunt of 1993, the whole world knows that Jan Thielen is back. His colony looks slightly less red than before the auction, but the results are of the same class. He eagerly takes his championships left and right. In 1994, he finished third in the National Marathon. In 1995, Jan Thielen became champion of the morning release and also for the third year in a row general champion in the Fondrinden Nord Limburg. In 2000, he won category 8 of the Zlu Fondspiegel with 4 out of 10 in Barcelona, 11 out of 25 in Marseille and 7 out of 14 in Propignan. In 1997, he calculated the best long-distance pigeon in the Netherlands over five seasons. But to be very honest, Jan no longer has a breeding couple like the 348 cross trutch. That is of course not so strange, after all, it can be called a miracle if you meet such a couple once in your life. Jan Thielen's bloodline still won in the recent pigeon race, just like Luxione we remember that he bought 1993 international Barcelona winner Ricky from Jan Thielen. He won, first, second and third national zone A1 Argentin 1, against 1,324 old birds KBDB 2020. And, first, second, fifth and seventh national zone A1 Bugs 2 against 350 old birds KBDB 2020. Not only in the Netherlands and neighboring areas, but also in other countries such as the Middle East, United States, Asia. Thank you for watching. See you next time.